What's up fuckers and welcome back to another rebuild today here on the channel and we have a pretty fun one today. We have the Philadelphia 76ers who are going through some stuff right now with Ben Simmons. He's made it pretty abundantly clear that he does not want to be in Philadelphia. They have yet to find the right trade. So we're stuck in this awkward scenario where he's showing up to practice, then getting kicked out. He's not playing games for them. It's a very weird time for him in the 76ers. So if I'm being honest, I have not yet decided whether I'm going to trade him or not. If the right trade does come up, I'll probably look to move him. This is not a realistic rebuild whatsoever. I do not want any of you thinking this is a realistic rebuild. Also, a lot of you have been asking for me for this. And the reason I'm waiting so long or waited so long is because I did think he was going to get traded at some point and i wanted to get that out if it was going to happen and not do a ton of 76ers rebuilds but it hasn't happened i don't know if it's going to happen anytime soon so today we're deciding to do it and as always i do want to hear from you guys if you guys have a spot you think ben simmons is going to end up on i'd be happy to do that just let me know down below in the comment section while you're down there feel free to join the community hit that sub button stick around a while and you guys get any other video ideas at all whatsoever let me know those down below in the comment section as well so this is gonna be interesting we're gonna have a lot of decisions to make in today's video but i am super excited for this one let's get into it so this team was a one seed in the eastern conference last year obviously didn't end up even making the eastern conference finals but i think this team does have a lot of potential it's not like we're starting from scratch right now we have a lot of assets a lot of trade pieces we can move we'll quickly go over the roster before we do get into this one the point guard spot is obviously ben simmons the reason I'm not like crazy pissed if I have to move on from him is because I think Tyrese Maxey just has a ton of potential. I like him quite a bit. I think he's going to be a key contributor for this team, whether he's coming off the bench, whether he's starting, he's definitely going to be in the rotation no matter what. We move over to the shooting guard spot. I hate to say weak, but I guess it maybe is one of the weaker positions on the team. I mean, Seth Curry is not a bad player at all. I love this pickup for them. He's probably going to be my starting shooting guard for at least year number one. They got Shake Milton here as well. The small forward spot, Danny Green is now on this team. I love Matisse Thibault, legitimately one of my favorite players in the NBA. I just don't know if he's going to be a starting caliber guy for me the entire video, but definitely can see myself keeping him there. Cork Maz down here as well. Tobias Harris, who I still think is extremely underrated in this league. I don't think he gets appreciated enough for you know his production, so I'd like to keep him. The thing is, he's just making a ton of money, and if you know some things are not working out, he could be one of those pieces we move. Again, we'll address that when we do get to it. In the second best center in the NBA here with Joel Embiid. No 76ers fans, I'm not trying to piss you off. I'm just hoping you're understanding. Nicole Jokic is better than Joel Embiid. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm sticking to my I'm sticking to my guns. I'm not falling under peer pressure. And then we have 79 overall Andre Drummond. Why he's a 79 overall, I have absolutely no idea. I have yet to make a rebuild in 2K22 where he has not won six men of the year in the first year. If he does, it won't be happening for us. He's on a one-year deal. There's no way we have bird rights on him. He's probably going to ask for $15 million bucks. So he is up and out of here. Let's get into some trades. And we are starting it off here with a blockbuster. We're moving on from Ben Simmons. I know I said I didn't know if I was going to trade him or not. The right trade popped up. Ben Simmons, Andre Drummond, and a future first-round pick. Heading to Indiana. We're getting DeMontis Sabonis back. We're getting Malcolm Brogdon back. Two key pieces of this team. They're both also making a lot less money than Ben Simmons. I like this first trade. As you can probably tell, the starting lineup is going to have both these guys in it. We're going to move Tobias Harris probably to the small forward spot and then probably move Brogdon to that starting shooting guard. We'll run with Tyrese Maxey that one, but good first trade in the books. So we're actually doing another trade here with the Indiana Pacers for our second move. We're picking up O'Shea Brissett, who's going to come in and be my new backup power forward. A little bit younger, a little bit more depth there. I don't mind this move. And again, I like Shag Milton a lot. Would have been a really good backup shooting guard. Unfortunately, we just don't need three shooting guards and we do need more depth at other positions. Hence why this second trade is in the books. And our final trade here is going to be coming with the Chicago Bulls. We're getting Alex Caruso, Derek Jones Jr. We're trading away Danny Green and Ferdinand Korkmaz. Again, it's nothing against these two guys. We just need some backup point guard depth. Alex Caruso is going to come in fit that slot beautifully. Our final trade is officially in the books. Let's get into the rotation. We've arrived at the start of season number one with the way this team is going to look. I think we are 100% going to be a top four seed here in the Eastern Conference. I think we should be competitive throughout the entirety of the regular season. I know some of you might be mad that I traded Ben Simmons. I actually don't know if 76ers fans would be mad that that's the return I got for Ben Simmons. I think if there was any way that that was an actual possibility for them in real life, that they get both Malcolm Brogdon and DeMontis Sabonis, I don't know if they'd be complaining. But... That's obviously not really that realistic of a trade. This is 2K at the end of the day, but I think this team's in a really good spot. So here's how it's looking for year number one. We're getting Tyrese Maxey in this starting lineup, which is also one of the factors and one of the reasons I was so easily able to move on from Ben Simmons. Love the potential on Tyrese Maxey here. Hoping to have him starting the entire video. He's going to be my starting shooting guard, or point guard, followed by Malcolm Brogdon at that two-guard spot. Eh, he probably could be more of a point guard for him, but 
again, it's it's the it's the NBA today. Nothing's too crazy. We don't really play positionless or position basketball. Everything seems positionless. Tobias Harris moves down to the small forward spot. We got Demontis Sabonis, and then the second best center in the NBA, Joel Embiid. Here, I'll just say his name from now on. But yeah, he's not going anywhere. One hundred percent, the only lock throughout this video that's not getting traded. Our bench definitely could you know use some work this offseason. We're gonna have Seth Curry as our sixth man. We picked up O'Shea Brissett from Indiana. Obviously, we have Alex Caruso from Chicago. And then Matisse Thibault down here as well, getting 14 minutes a night off the bench. So it's a pretty decent bench. Definitely could use maybe a little bit of work at some point in time. But again, this team's in a pretty good spot right now. Definitely should be a top four seed here in the East. I will catch you guys at the end of year number one. My apologies. I'm dumb as hell. I've done this a few times now. I forgot to hit record when I was going over the awards. Um, let me do this. Luka Doncic, Evan Mobley. Drummond didn't win six man of the year. It was Cody Zeller. Most approved one to Tyrese Maxey. Am I missing one? Um, defensive player of the year went to Giannis and then Ima Udoka won coach of the year my bad I always forget to hit record I'm so dumb because I don't record obviously when I'm simulating nothing so alrighty we're here in the playoffs we are a three seed I'll go ahead and show you guys the standings real quick we are eight games behind the Boston Celtics finished with a record of 53 and 29 not too bad especially when you trade you know one of your better players to open the year you don't really mind that. We'll look at some stats and some numbers on the year as well. Led in scoring by Joel Embiid. Tobias Harris, DeMontis, Sabonis, Malcolm Brogdon, Tyrus Maxey. So scoring was pretty well spread out. I would say really kind of around what I was expecting. Uh, rebounds went to Embiid and assists was actually DeMontis Sabonis. So we have a matchup here with the Indiana Pacers in the first round. So we got our old friend Ben Simmons here. It's actually kind of a funny first round matchup. They're playing up at the power forward spot. They got him and Drummond as a front court. Can you imagine the amount of bricks that are just being tossed up there? Also, why are you starting Andre Drummond over Miles Turner? I feel like that's a weird move. But again, this is not a team to sleep on. This is a very good team. Really deep team as well. So we will go game by game with them. We're up 1-0. We quickly make it 2-0. We go up 3-0. We're going to sweep them out of their own building. All right, they get a game in there. We head back to Phil. Really? We're not doing this right now. We're not doing this right now. I don't like the 76ers because I'm a Celtics fan, but there's no way I'm blowing a 3-0 lead with one of my teams. I don't know why I speak. I don't know why I speak. We blow a 3-0 lead. And the LA Clippers go on to win the finals. And Paul George is your finals MVP. They beat the Knicks in six games. Oh, baby. That's not what I was looking for in this first playoff run. Alrighty. Um, well, it happens. Bill, I don't even know who you are. Carmelo makes the Hall of Fame. We'll head up to Jersey retirements. Also, Carmelo Anthony League meetings. We're just going to reject all these. Get this out of the way. Uh, what does that say? Implement of... Uh, yeah, no thanks. All right, draft lottery. I'm, I'm actually still a little annoyed about that playoffs, but it's okay. Uh, we definitely don't have any picks here in the lottery. We're not a team with lottery picks. Wizards, Magic, and Toronto Raptors are your top three. We will now head quickly up to staff signing. I'll do some coaching stuff real quick. I'm going to remain. I'm going to keep Doc Rivers as our head coach. I'll sign a couple assistants, though. I'll see you guys with our next move. So we have simulated all the way up to the draft. We do have the 27th overall pick. We also have the third overall pick in the second round. So we have some assets to work with here. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be drafting somebody right here right now. If I would, I would probably like to move up a little bit. I don't mind drafting guys in the mid-teens, but when we get into the late 20s, you're really just losing a lot of value there. So if I'm able to move up a couple picks, I'll probably look to draft somebody. But if not, I'll probably just look to trade the pick. So... If I maybe I actually wouldn't mind getting Jaden Springer some playing time. If he can maybe develop a couple overall higher, maybe could be my backup point guard once uh, we move, do move on from Alex Caruso. So if I throw up George's Niang in my two picks that I have in the 2022 draft, what are my options? If I can maybe move up a little bit, I'd definitely be willing to do that. But if not, I'm probably just going to take a trade. And yeah, nothing really there. So um, we'll take two first round picks from the Boston Celtics. Actually, one's a protection backup. Can I? What does the Lakers offer? Two unprotected from the Lakers, that's fine by me. So we're not drafting anybody this year. It is unfortunate, but again, not really getting any value there. 27 or the third overall pick in round number two, at least in the game anyways. So all these guys are going to be coming back. That is a thing of beauty. I don't believe we have any major free agents. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody should be relatively locked up. Uh, I don't know who Aaron Henry is, but uh, let me just double check this roster right now. Make sure everybody's here. I mean, the entire starting five is here, which is really, really big for us. So, obviously, Embiid didn't have a backup last year, and I love eight, or excuse me, nine-man rotation, so I'm probably going to keep that the same. Um, you know, I might look to make an upgrade maybe at that backup shooting guard spot, though. That's definitely one spot I definitely could do. So, yeah, I'll see you guys with some sort of trade. I also possibly have a little bit of cap space, but I don't really love any of these, you know, shooting guard for agents. So, what I actually might do is I think I'm going to sign Jay Sean Tate, who is that because that he got released, or, like, why is his contract like that? I don't really know. Um, but yeah, we're just going to let everybody else go here. We're going to bring in Jay Sean Tate. He actually either could honestly remain on this team if I want to move on from Thibault, but I really don't. Or maybe he'll be a trade piece. I'll see you guys with the trade. So we definitely got an upgrade here at the backup shooting guard spot. We're picking up sixth man of the year, Jordan Clarkson. We've given up Jay Sean Tate. Seth Curry in a first. We get Jordan Clarkson in a first back as well. 
Definitely a W trade, in my opinion. I think he's going to contribute off the bench tremendously. He's going to be our sixth man. Definitely going to be a good spot for him here. So, the way I'm probably going to go with this team is, obviously, this team's not really in a spot to have a ton of cap space, really sign a major free agent or anything like that. But the way I think I want to approach it is give this starting five another year. We just upgraded the bench a little bit. I'm still comfortable with Caruso. I'm obviously comfortable with Jordan Clarkson. I'm a little iffy maybe here on O'Shea Brissett. It's not like he's bad. I just don't know if he's really fitting the role. Is this his third team? He's been on, damn. Um, I'm also probably going to try to get a first-round pick for like Paul Reed, maybe even Charles Bassey, because I don't really need them. Maybe even Isaiah Joe, but I do like Springer a little bit. So I'm going to do that, and I'll see you guys in the rotation at the start of year number two here in Philadelphia. Start of season two in Philadelphia, the starting five remains exactly the same, and I'm actually kind of glad about it. We obviously blew a 3-0 lead last year to the Indiana Pacers in round one of the NBA playoffs. We had a good regular season, though. I'm really hoping to repeat that. Hopefully, maybe be a top two seed this year, potentially. And we'll see if that can happen. The starting five remains exactly the same as I mentioned. Tyrese Maxey, Malcolm Brogdon, Tobias Harris, DeMontis Zabonis, and Joel Embiid. Our bench unit definitely got a little bit of an upgrade. Jordan Clarkson going to come in here. Hopefully be a candidate for six man of the year. We also have Alex Caruso, Matisse Thibel, and then O'Shea Brissett, who again, I know I'm only playing him 12 minutes, and technically he's our second highest overall coming off the bench. I'm just valuing Caruso's you know, playmaking in here, and I love the defense that Matisse Thibel brings. So honestly, that's the way I'm going to do it for now. If something has, you know, comes up, we're not playing that well or something, I'll maybe make a switch or potentially a trade midseason. But as of now, I like this team. See you guys at the end of year number two. So season number two comes to an end. Unfortunately, we actually dropped a seed here. So I don't know if the rest of the East got better. We definitely didn't get worse. That's really not possible. But yeah, I'm a little bit confused. Luka Doncic ends up going back-to-back -back in the MVP department. Yes, I'm happy I know I hit record this time. Chet Holmgren, your rookie of the year, is in Washington, D.C. Victor Oladipo is now in San Antonio. And is your sixth man of the year. Giannis was another defensive player of the year. John Morant most improved. Steve Nash, 58-24. and 24 is your coach of the year. So we're a four seed. Um, you know, it's not exactly where I was hoping to be, but again, you know, relatively speaking, I mean, we're tied for a three seed here with Atlanta. It's not like we were bad at all, so I really can't complain about it, but would have liked to be a higher seed. Player stats on the year, Joel Embiid still doing his thing. Definitely should be an MVP candidate. DeMontis Sabonis, Tyrese Maxey. Tobias Harris took a little bit of a, you know, he sat back a little bit, but Maxey definitely, well, whoops, excuse me. Uh, Maxey definitely went up in the scoring department anyways. And then Jordan Clarkson doing his thing. Brogdon evens. This is why I had Jordan Clarkson, because I knew he was going to do shit like this, but... Again, man, we have a lot of double-digit scores here. I, I'm really happy with this team right now, and hopefully this year we can actually, you know, maybe do something in the playoffs. So, we got a first-round matchup here with the Celtics. Not exactly my favorite team to place. They have Derrick Rose now and Bruce Brown, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Robert Williams, Peyton Pritchard. Yeah, okay. It's an interesting team. Um, are they, do they, I'd say we have the best player in the series, definitely. They definitely have the second-best player. We're up 3 nothing, so hopefully we sweep them. Congratulations to the Philadelphia 76ers for beating the Boston Celtics in the playoffs. It actually hasn't happened since I think I was born, but congratulations in a series anyways. Cade Cunningham, Zach Levine, Sadiq Bey, Jeremy Grant, and my boy Penis Cantor over there in Detroit. Good 8 seed. Not a team I really want to play, but again, if we can get it done, I'll take it. We're up 2-1 right now. We go up 3-1. We are in the East Finals taking on the Atlanta Hawks. we got Trey Young. They picked up Scary Terry. DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Mitchell Robinson's even a new addition. Miles Bridges, Joe Harris. Holy hell. Can you imagine these two shooters off the bench? Oh, my God. All righty. Not a team that I'm looking forward to facing. We're down 2 nothing. We get a game in Philadelphia. We get two games in Philadelphia. We are down 3-2. I don't hop into games unless they're the NBA Finals. We're going game three right now. And, man, can we get to the NBA Finals here in our second season in Philadelphia. We do. We are in the NBA Finals. They were up 2 nothing. We come back. And we got the Houston Rockets. John Wall, Jalen Green, the walking lesbian, Paolo Banchero, Christian Wood, KPJ. Oh, okay. Like, they're good, but, like, I feel like we're almost a lot better than them. I don't really know how they came out of the West. We're up 3 nothing against them right now. It looks like we're going to be getting a championship here for our 76ers. I wouldn't mind getting a little gameplay for you fellas. See if we can kind of keep this one somewhat close. Maybe keep the gameplay at least a little bit entertaining. But, again, I'm never going to complain when the CPU is blowing them out of the water. Let's hop in. Here in Houston right now, we are up by 33 points, and it's looking pretty good for us to sweep Houston out of their own building and to get this team a championship. I'm really happy because I didn't win a championship in my last video, and I hate when I don't win at least one. And so we're going to be getting it done. Oh, shit, my bad. We're going to be getting done here as a four seed, which is also something you really do like to see. I don't necessarily love when I don't get teams a championship, especially don't like it when they're always like one seed. So when I do get a championship with a team when we're like a three seed or something like or a four seed even, it typically does, you know, typically feel good. So also I put the starters in before. I don't know why that didn't happen right there. What the actual fuck was that? We're going to fell. I want, I want the basketball. I, I seriously, what are we doing right now? You're not coming back from a 33 point lead with, you know, 240 left to go. 
I put the starters in, unless they all just like fouled out or something. No, they're all coming back in. I don't know what in the world is going on right now. I like I get hypothetically that the starters probably wouldn't be in in this situation, but I want to play with them a little bit. All right, two free throws hit there. Let's use Tyrese Maxey a little bit. Definitely not a guy I get in-game gameplay with a lot. Maybe a little pick and roll action, eh? Is that O'Shea Brissett? Toss it up to lob to O'Shea Brissett, baby. Let's go. It's new this year that you actually have to hold down the square button. Or I think what would it be on PlayStation or on Xbox? I don't know what that is. is it, no, it's not X. Oh, no, it is X. Whatever it is, you have to hold it this year on an alley-oop. It doesn't just do it automatically, which I, I kind of do like. It makes it a little more challenging. Al Prince and Goon the Goat gonna go in, gonna get the contact, no foul call, but he does get the lay in to go. And Bede's got 28. He might have fouled out, or he's just he either fouled out or he's just all lazy as hell. But I'm gonna assume fouled out because he doesn't really have a choice if I put him in the game. All right, Tyrese, dude, we're not getting clamped right now, but God knows who this is. Sabonis so go back to basket, and he's gonna get the lay in, and he bricks it. Oh, I'm just so terribly bad at this game. All right, is this Kennedy Chandler? Is that who this is? Uh, we're kind of doubling him real quick. I'm playing on ball. Oh shit. That's an absolute brick. Uh, all right, let's get Brogdon a little bit. Only got 12 points here. A uh, little pick from Sabonis, former teammates in Indiana. That's not a charge, right? All right, we're going to sim. I'm getting annoyed. We end up sweeping the Houston Rockets. We sweep them out of their own building, and we are officially the 2023 NBA champions. And obviously, Joel Embiid is your finals MVP. Very good, very dominant series from the NBA champion all right let's head up to league meetings right now we will quickly reject all of those but i don't think we're gonna have anything oh i saw the 76ers logo that charlotte pick came in to trade last year when i traded like those three guys that are on the bench so that could actually become something that's unprotected i think sticks at pick 12 definitely could be in a trade probably not a video where i'm drafting anybody if i don't do it in the first draft i typically tend to not do it i'm not changing anything in the co actually let me just make sure doc rivers is still here he is we will head up to the draft now I will see you guys with a trade. So I know we just won a championship. I really shouldn't be changing anything, man. But I love Michael Porter Jr. Tobias Harris, he's not 31 years old. His numbers went down a little bit. He's also making $40 million. I'd love to pick up Michael Porter Jr. See what he can do on this team. No, I'm not getting Ben Simmons back. So Michael Porter Jr. Probably going to be our one major trade of the offseason. I don't really see myself making any other moves. We actually do have another first and along with two seconds, which I'm just going to get a future first round pick for here. Um, yeah, perfect. Thank you, Memphis. And we will now head up to team player options. I think we actually might have a couple free agents. Um, I think Clarkson's definitely one I want back. I do want Matisse Thibault back. He's definitely a big one. We now head into free agency. Let's see who we got here for us. We have Brogdon, who I definitely would like to re-sign. Don't want to just let him walk for nothing. Uh, I'm also just going to give the qualifying here to Matisse Thibault, just because, again, I'm not just going to let him go. And I actually will replace my backup power forward spot. So O'Shea Brissett can walk. I don't know. I like switching things up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get Matisse Thibault and Malcolm Brogdon back to absolutely huge pickups for us. We're now going to go ahead and sign a different backup power forward. Gallinari is just a little old. I wouldn't mind the stretch. You know, the guy that's able to stretch the floor with Kelly Olenek. So that's actually a pretty good addition, in my opinion. We will now take a look at this team. We obviously have Tyrese Maxey. We also did pick up Monte Morris, which is actually a pretty big pickup off the bench. I'm a big fan of Monte Morris. What I might do right now is actually include Caruso in a trade, maybe along with somebody like, I don't really know, I guess maybe even Olenek. I just like Matisse Thibault too much to trade. Well, obviously, Clarkson's not going anywhere. So maybe if I put up Caruso, Springer. Actually, wait, I have an idea. If I were, Tyrese Maxey's playing well, but if I were to throw up Tyrese Maxey, Alex Caruso, and Jaden Springer, what are my trade options? Again, I'm not 100% doing anything here. I know they're not making like a max contract, so the offers aren't really going to be that good. Yeah, no, nothing's happening there. All right, we're going to keep Tyrus Maxey. We're going to move on from Caruso. We're going to move on from Olenek, and honestly, I'll throw Springer in there as well. And now we're going to look for a different backup power forward. And again, nothing against any of these guys. Ooh, Alexei Pashevsky or Jaden McDaniels, who's real good. We also get Vanderbilt there. Uh, I actually really don't love any of these offers, if I'm being honest with you. All right, let me figure out a trade. We're going to try to pick up Larry Markkinen. I've been a Larry Markkinen fan since he entered the league. You know, has he really panned out to exactly what a lot of people thought he was? I mean, it was an unfair comparison to compare him to, like, Dirk Nowitzki. I understand where they're coming from, but at the end of the day, it really wasn't fair. But pick him up here, can be off our bench, can hopefully be behind Jordan Clarkson. I think it'd be a great addition and a great upgrade, and they do agree to that. So we had a lot of assets there. Really didn't need all of them, you know, necessarily. So this team is looking honestly really good. I'm hoping to repeat. I will see you guys at the start of the third and final year here in Philadelphia. Final season here, fresh off a championship. We made one change to the starting five. And again, it wasn't necessary, but I am happy we did it because again, I hate leaving things the same way they are. Tyrese Maxey, Malcolm Brogdon, Michael Porter Jr., the new addition here. DeMontis Sabonis and Joel Embiid rounds out our starting five. Our bench unit's really, really good in my opinion. Probably one of the better benches I've had so far here in 2K22. Jordan Clarkson, Lowry Markin, Monte Morris, and Matisse Thibel. Let's get it done. Hopefully go back to back.
Here we go. It's a clean sweep for Luka Doncic in the MVP department. He wins the third one of today's video. He's very good. Moni Bates, Rookie of the Year, is in Oklahoma City. I'm sure a lot of Thunder fans. It's a nice sight for them right there. Davion Mitchell, Sixth Man of the Year, is in Sacramento. Giannis Antetokounmpo, Defense Player of the Year once again. Jaden Ivey, I have no idea who you are. I'm not even going to lie. Most improved for my Celtics. I'll take it, though. Steve Nash, your coach of the year, 61-21. and 21. So we're a three-seed here. Uh, we haven't been higher than a three-seed, but hey, man, we got a championship already, so I'm not too worried about it. Standings-wise, we were four games behind the Brooklyn Nets and one game behind the Celtics. I mean, we would have been a one-seed over there in the West. Very good year, nonetheless. We'll take a look at some numbers real quick. Joel Embiid, Michael Porter Jr. doing his thing. I'm happy we made that upgrade there at that small forward spot. Tyrese Maxey balling out. So happy I didn't trade him to like start this video or anything. DeMontis Simonis. Brogdon, Jordan Clarkson took a bit of a step back, but that's fine by me, and the rest of the numbers go on so far and so forth. Alrighty, playoff time here. We got a one seed, or excuse me, a first round matchup with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's take a look at their starting five. Darius Garland, Colin Sexton, got Sexland backcourt. Isaac Okoro, Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, and Nas Reed is their six man. Good team, young team. I think I still think we're better. We are up two games to one against them right now. We they tied at two games apiece. Oh my god. 3-3. Three, three. Are we going back? And we get eliminated. Two first-round exits in a championship. Typically not the formula you tend to see. Kyrie Irving Finals MVP. I'm sure that's happening sometime soon. All right, let's get this one out of the way and get it done. Uh, I had fun making this video. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like down below. It would definitely mean a lot to me. If you guys want to see an other side of a Ben Simmons trade, whatever it is, let me know down below in the comment section where you think he'll end up and what that trade will look like because I would be happy to do any rumored rebuilds. You know, kind of nice change of pace versus just doing a normal rebuild. So this wasn't technically a trading Ben Simmons 76ers rebuild. I know that's what the title is, but again, wasn't technically one of those. So as always, if you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a great weekend so far and it only gets better from here. That being said, I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.